This year's NBA dunk contest is going down in Salt Lake City, Utah. Over the past month, I got to sit down with all of the contestants in the dunk contest. I got to show them my moves and show them a little bit of my world, and they showed me a little bit of their world too. Let's get it. Up ahead for McClung, and Mac McClung will throw it down on the reverse dunk. Got to get loose, man. Try to think of some ideas and figure some things out, man, for the dunk contest. What's up, man? What's up? What's going, bro? What's up? It's good to see you, man. Now to KJ Moore. Oh, my goodness. Did he dunk from the free throw line? Hey, pleasure. Pleasure, man. Obviously, the professor. I mean, somebody I watched growing up a lot on YouTube and stuff like that. He got the craziest handle in the world. Like, no matter what you do, he has a counter for everything. So, your best hope is that he misses a shot. That's a Go to dunk it. Go to dunk it. He wants to. Go to dunk it. Go to dunk it. Finding the. Trey Murphy up high and down hard. So right now, Trey Murphy, he's working on some of the dunks he might pull off. NBA All-Star Weekend at the dunk contest. I think right now he's trying to experiment. He's trying to figure out like what he can and can't do. I think like when you when you try it for the dunk contest, you gotta kind of try everything, right? You might pull out something that is special that you might not know you could do because these guys are so athletic, they can do a lot. Here's Rose, alley up to Sims. Fast break on a perfect feed. And the sick. He literally hit his head on the run. Oh. It was almost his chin hurt. Something light. <laughs> what it look like in there? All right, we're here today with Jericho Sims of the New York Knicks. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. KJ Martin, Houston Rockets NBA star, and also a contestant in this year's AT&T Slam Dunk Contest. Thanks for being here, bro. Appreciate you, bro. All right, we're here with Trey Murphy, up, New Orleans Pelicans star. Today we're here with hoop star Mac McClung. Thanks for being here, my bro. What's up, man? Rapid fire questions. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Fitted or baggy dress? Baggy. Um, I'd say baggy. Michael Jackson or Prince? Michael Jackson. Who is the best in-game dunker of all time? Jared Green. Milkshake or slushy? Milkshake. Chick-fil-A or Popeyes? Chick-fil-A. Fruit Loops or Lucky Charms? Fruit Loops. Angle breaker or poster dunk? Poster. Gotta be. Poster. <laughs> what age did you start dunking? Like 14, 15 years old. Lambo or Ferrari? I can't fit in either, but Lambo. <laughs> you got the custom Lambo? Crocs or slides? Crocs. Marvel or DC? DC. What advice would you give to young kids getting into dunking? Start off with a tennis ball. That's how I started off. Mm. Practice with tennis ball, volleyball, and stuff like that. And when you feel ready, do it with the basketball. Sour Patch Kids or Sour Straws? Sour Patch Kids, watermelon version. Hip hop or R&B? Um, let's go R&B. LA or New York? New York. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, that's a hot take. <laughs> Football or soccer? Soccer. Ankle breaker or poster dunk? Poster dunk. Yeah. Might get you an ankle breaker next, you know? Yeah, for sure. Who's a better dunker, you or your pops? Uh, me, for sure. All right, today we're on site with Hoop Star and Dunk Phenom, Mac McClung. What's up, man? Thanks for being here, bro. Thanks for having me. My man's been in the NBA twice. I feel like a lot of people sleep on that. This guy's a hooper. This guy can dunk. He is athletic. Do not sleep on Mac McClung making his NBA debut tonight. Here he is for his first points. Got it. But today, we're going to give you a little taste of my world, some street ball moves. I'm going to teach you a couple moves. Let's do it. Cool? Man. All right, let's get it. All right, getting into it first. We do it off the heezy, okay? Thank you. This one's a less conventional move. People, like, they just try to do it, right? They just try to 
throw it, but there's more strategy to it, okay? There's a safe one with the roll, and then there's the unsafe one like, oh, throw. This, this, this <laughs> <laughs> so for the off the easy to throw, you want to get into like an in and out before. You got to do something to kind of like bring you to a position where it's easy to come up, go off the easy and get it right back, right? Instead of just going down, we're off going the easy, right man. here. So, so here's, here's how I do it. I get in and out here to off the easy and then to right back into it. I'll try it. Right. Try it. Go I'll go right to it. I'll, I'll, go, right I'll go bad, bro. I'm no, not crazy. Not crazy. Well, okay, here's the thing. We should talk about this, though. It's not a painful move. If you do it right, it's supposed to hit somebody in the forehead, like, actually decently lightly. I know during a game it can get a little hard, but even if – even if it gets hard, it doesn't really hurt if you do it right. Now, if you hit somebody in the nose or the mouth, it's different. Yeah. But it's a risky move, you know what I mean? And some people, you should say, they, they don't do it the right way, so they might try to fling that joint from like 10 yeah. feet away. And I've been victim to that too, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, you know, we try to keep it, keep it respectful. Keep it respectful. <laughs> all right, what do you think? Let's go. Yeah, all right, so the first thing you said. Yeah, I like to go into a little in and out. out. Yeah, because you have to bring the ball to like, you have to bring it to a pause to where it's like natural to get it. Oh, like get it's it. already up. Yeah, if you came and then like did that, that's going to be a hard one, you know what I mean? I like to actually be mid play. Here, boom, or boom, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> boom, let's go. You're out of there. That's not bad for take one. <laughs> Second one's if I wanted to be a little bit more safe. Coming in here, I get down in the, this position right here, like a stagger step, and I go one, two, three here and then slide stri straight down, roll it off the head. The dope one about this is even if the defender gets physical, you can actually pull this off. So like if, he, if he's being physical and I'm here, it's, you could like, you can get in and bring it to yourself really fast. And one thing I know about going off the heezy though is just from years doing it, it gets the crowd going crazy, but also the defender's like infuriated. So if <laughs> yeah. you go off the heezy, I can see that. You, the, your next move might be between the legs. You know what I'm saying? Like. It might be that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, usually usually somebody's thinking, like, are you that serious? And they're not thinking about the next crossover, next between your legs, the heads you to the rack. Oh, <laughs> we'll try it. Right. Right. <laughs> so it's going to get real, like, close with you. You yeah. just like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boom. Sorry. Shoulder. That's a move, too. That's a different one. Let's get up with that one right there. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he might turn that into the windmill or something. All right, so there it is, man. Mac McClung, appreciate you being yes, on here. Appreciate you, man. I'm here with Trey Murphy for the Pelicans. He's going to be in this year's AT&T Slam Dunk Contest. You want to check him out. But today, I'm going to give you a little taste of my world, streetball world. You know what I mean? Yes, we got to give you, we got to put something in your bag. All right. You might be able to pull out at some All point. Right. Cool? Yeah, I had the VHS tapes. I used to watch it with my dad. You know, watched a good amount of your videos back in the day. Oh, humble, bro. Yeah, humble. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. Do you consider yourself like someone that could shake somebody off the dribble? So I show it sometimes, but you know, okay. they want me to shoot threes and you know, play defense and finish at the rim. So I try to just do my job and not you know mm -hmm. do too much on the court. That's what I figure out. A lot, a lot of times in the NBA, like people have more to their game, but you have to do what you're asked to do, right? Absolutely. That's how you stay. Yeah. So maybe this will be for a showcase. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they'll trust you a little more to handle later. Later, later. But later. you're a beast, though, man. We seen, we seen you go off, bro. We, you're a beast. It. Appreciate so that. I think you might be able to pull this off. But we're gonna show you, you know, foundational street ball. Show you between the legs. <laughs> The way I go between the legs, <clears throat> as I approach the defender, the first step is you want to try to, you got to like turn the defender, right? Because mm -hmm. if he's straight up, if you try to go to between the legs just from this angle, not that that's undoable, like especially in the open court, but if you want to do it in the half court, you're better off trying to like turn the defender. So if he's turned, you know what I'm saying, you go between the legs like easier. Yes. So what I, what I tend to do is, like if I go left, I do a bunch of ways. I might give like a cross like here, something to try to get him to just turn like, a, it all has to be is just a little bit of an angle. Or if I go over here, it could be something like, like a little cross like this before I go into it. Yeah. Okay, so once he's turned is the key. After that, what I do is, the secret is, is like we get him here, we turn him a little bit. As I come back, I always go here right off a of stiff leg. I come back between the legs. As I'm going back between the legs, I want to look like I'm getting into my shot. And then as soon as, as, soon as they believe it, and it looks like I could go to my shot, it's like right at that point is when I go between the legs. And sometimes you could like snatch it back if you want to make the defender spin, one key is, sorry, can you give him a little more? 
them over here. Yeah, so if I open them up here, boom, as I come back and fake that shot, if I go between the legs and I try to retrieve the ball right here, yeah, a lot of times they go that way to retrieve it. So if you snatch it back, you can get like mad space. But that's yeah. how you spin somebody's like, you know, here, boom, boom, boom. That's tough. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> tough. Wanna walk through it? For sure. Okay. So first one, boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay, so you see him a little bit. Oh, he already get right in there. Got you, got you. <laughs> All right, hold on. Walk through it, walk through it. Back, back. So boom. Boom, fake up. Oh, he might. Bro. He might have oh, did it the best. It. <laughs> he might have did it the best of anybody we did so far. Go through it again. Oh, I got you, better. Right, no. Play more over here, these. Okay. Yeah, like a little more. Wow. Ooh. And that was, that was low-key the word we got, too. We were like, Dude, uh, dude's athletic. He's a good finisher around the bucket. And then your coach was like, no, no, no. This dude's a hooper. Like, <laughs> like yeah. no, no, no. This dude's a shooter, a player, a hooper. But Appreciate it, show me something right there. Uh, okay. Got a little something. Let's got go some. to the next level. <laughs> going to the next level. If I'm going against a defender, I really, if I really want to show out against these same, same beginning, okay, to the stiff. Boom, same continuation, but after I go, one, it's like I look at the shot here, boom, in and out to the spin, to the snatch. That's full. Okay, so coming up, full speed shot. Just a little over here. So it's here, boom. What you think? All right, let's see, let me, let me, let me see, let me see. Okay. This is level 10 right here. Right? Yeah, I was gonna say, this ain't level two. Level 10 handle. We, we didn't went past two, I level think. Level 10 handle, but I will say though, the way you did that first one, too easy. it might look the smoothest of anybody who's tried it so far. I will, I will say. I, I, did, I can hope a little bit now. And to be we, honest, coming in here, we looked at you 6'9", we seen your dunk. We did see you could shoot though, right? Yeah, you yeah, went yeah. off against the Lakers. All right, so. let's see. Stiff leg, boom, boom. It's Ooh, tough. I missed tough. <laughs> yeah, add the spin. You oh, could add the spin. Way. Could add the spin. Walk through, so, walk through. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, you, you spin. So I go here. I go like this. Oh, you spin off Coming to here. The key is really selling this first one. So it's both, so you have a lot of time. Because if, mm -hmm. you, if you can get them on that fake, like if you get their gravity just to go like that, just a hair. Yeah. Like just a hair, you'll have a lot of time. Yeah, you know like, you just got to come like, back. Boom. Yeah, come back. Boom. I spin with, with it. It's only twin legs. Okay. Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first bounce, hey, for though. rep number one, though, it's crazy. Yeah. that's pretty solid for rep number one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know. I always could picture that. I don't know what you think. That's all right, right there. That's all right. Hey. That's all right. It was really cool meeting the professor. I mean, somebody you've watched playing basketball for your entire life. And, you know, it's a different realm than the NBA. And so it's like a little bit cooler because I watched a lot of N1 mixtapes, Hot Sauce, Professor. I move for you today, you to check it out, yeah, see what you see, think. Call this move the whirlwind. So before we get into it, I want to check you to check it out. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's nice. Another look. That was like quick. I'm gonna go right into oh. this. Oh, my God. Oh, my. So if defenders guard me. Square up like this. I want to turn a little bit, right? I don't want to face up like this because yeah. it makes it hard, but I want to turn a little bit. So, in a sense, when you turn out of it, you'll be doing a 180. Yeah. Left foot is your pivot foot if you're right here. Yeah. Doing it for here. I lean into the defender like I'm going to go. It's almost like you, you act like you're going to go here, but then I spin out of it this way, coming, but I drop the ball before my pivot foot comes up. So, if we're here, it's boom, boom, spin it this way. But the key is to whip the spin. Yeah, so, see. yeah, because the reason it works because like nobody really spins out yeah. of it this way, right? Yeah. Like, when, like when you go into a move, people usually put the ball down. Triple threat is all fake this way, yeah. go this way. Nobody really spins. But I feel like if I'm turning at the side, it's very unconventional because it's like I make my fake, but then I'm not done. It's like mm -hmm. win, and then continue to go again out this way. But yeah. the key is how fast you can whip yeah. the spin. So if I get the ball game like here, mm. it's here. It's Boom, and then a lot of times, sorry, that was just for the footwork. A lot of times when I do come out of the spin, I go boom, and if I beat that defender, continue to go, maybe you can get it done, you know what I'm saying? Or if he's equal with me, you know what I'm saying? After I'm out of that spin, sorry. If he's equal with me, boom, or a little bit ahead, then I'll snatch it back. And you're done. Yeah, then, then hopefully you have yeah, a lot of room yeah, to play create. Yeah, for sure. What do you think, you wanna go through it? Let me see it, so you wanna. Okay. 
So you said it's square and you like this. Yeah, yeah. So you, when so you, it's almost like, so I lean into him. You lean into him, you yep. step in like right here. You step in there and, and then, then you, I even, sometimes I'll even go down with the ball. So it's like, I'll get one of those first and then I spin out of it. But it's good if it, it's for like if a defender's tight on you. Yeah, you know I'm trying to let him get the yeah. work first. Boom. And spinning then, this way toward me, spin toward me. He dropped Boom. it. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Here. Spinning. You guys mind? You, you guys want to go behind a. Or, what, do you what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mess with it. I mean, because, I mean, most of the guys that, like, that I play against, like, it's usually. They're not jabbing and then spinning into a jab. It's usually like they put the ball on the floor. Right. Yeah. And then they. Then they spin. Versus right. you jabbing into it, spinning, and then shit, if he's on your hip, yeah. you can decide. Like if you're strong enough to keep him on your hip and just go to the basket, yeah. Right. Or you can put this extra little flare to it, you pull him back, and if you come up again, you just go right back. So yeah. no, that's a tough move. Yeah. I might I might think about trying that in the game for All sure. Right. Pull back, let's go. Hey. That's a tough, I'm gonna I'm I'm practice that. Practice sure. it, all right. For sure, no, that's, that's a nice move. Cool. Hey, appreciate you, my bro. Appreciate you. Let's go.